And a very good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend and welcome to USITT's New at Noon. My name is Cody and I'll be your host of these New at Noon sessions every Monday through Thursday, right here at 12 noon Eastern time on Zoom and Facebook Live. Now, although our conference may have been canceled due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, our commitment to education and training has not and will not stop. Every Monday through Thursday, USITT will be bringing you at least two educational sessions through our new virtual platform. These will be new at noon and forum at four. If you haven't already seen uh, these segments, I will we'll tell you a little bit about what they are now. Our new at noon se session segment is uh, really a new take on our new product showcase uh, that would have been done in Houston annually at our conference. This, this segment also will include uh, new and emerging technologies, as well as new companies that were set to exhibit with us in Houston. Now our format four series will take sessions that were to be that would normally be been presented by our uh, USITT commissions and exhibitors at in our at our national conference and translate those to our virtual stage here for you on Zoom. Now more information on all of these series can be found on our website at www.usitt.org. And the great thing about these virtual sessions is that we still get to engage uh, with industry professionals and get those get your questions answered by them uh, live in this format for you. Again, you can find all the all more information on all of these on our website as well as our social channels to, uh, as well. Now, with that being said, we're very excited to have today's guest on New at Noon. Uh, this is a technology that sort of has derived from uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, so some good things are coming out of it uh, in our industry as well. So, uh, without further ado, from Ohio Northern University, please welcome Brian Phillips and Harrison Henning uh, and a new creative technology, the 2020 virtual guest lecturer and artist registered. Welcome to New at Noon. Hello, thank you. Hey guys, how are you today? Well, thank you and yourself. Perfect, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so as we go along, for those of you uh, watching out there, once we get started, if you have any questions, um, feel free to uh, give us those questions in the Q&A box uh, at the bottom of your screen there, it'll pop up to us and we'll get those questions answered live for you. For those, of, for those viewing on Facebook Live, feel free to go ahead and ask your question there in the comments section and we'll get those added as well. So Brian, uh, to get us started, tell us a little bit about uh, the virtual guest lecture and artist register and how, um, how did you guys come up with this and what was the need for it? Uh, well, uh, the way I, well, basically uh, the way we came up with it is once uh, the university started shutting down, I think it was on about March 10th, uh, the governor of Ohio pretty much said all universities in Ohio are going to be closing or go to remote learning, I should say. Um, so uh, that kind of made me start thinking. We're, there was a lot of people out there converting their uh, coursework to try to do it online in a virtual situation. And there was a lot of coursework that didn't necessarily translate itself well to that. Uh, being a technical director and me, uh, teaching the technical type classes, you know, thinking things like stagecraft and advanced stagecraft and uh, all those production type classes. Uh, so I was like, well, if I can't uh, actually go in there and do scene painting with my students, uh, maybe I could get somebody to come talk to uh, my students about scene painting and start that networking with them. Uh, so that was really the idea. And I, I posted a couple of posts on Facebook. So if anybody else, it seemed like a good idea to me. So I posted a couple of posts on Facebook uh, to see if other people liked that. I got some really good response. So I created a form uh, where people could volunteer their time to, to Skype in or Zoom in, if you will, uh, to different courses uh, to talk about their career and their professions. And that's kind of uh, why I created it and how the sort of the impetus for it. That's amazing. And, and what was the sort of the industry response when people started seeing these uh, these groups pop up? I know that you mentioned that you you posted in a lot of like Facebook groups and online forums um, that this was going to be created. And well, I mean, obviously, people loved it, right? Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, like I I put the idea out there. I got a like I got like a hundred responses or likes or thumbs up or whatever you want on the Facebook post. So I created the Google form, and then by the next day, we had over. Uh, 125 people or so that had already filled out the form volunteering their time. Uh, and then there's a lot of people, uh, I'm pretty fortunate, you know, my department is well staffed. I've got a lot of great colleagues that I can rely on, but there's a lot of people out there that are one man bands, right? They're, uh, they are the tech theater program. So uh, the idea of trying to help them out with all the resources 
And again, I was uh, pretty fortunate in my career. I have a pretty extensive network, but again, there's a lot of people out there that don't have that resource. Um, uh, I, you know, and I was like, how do I make it so everybody can have access to an awesome Rolodex for you old people out there, right? Uh, how can you just make an email and say, hey, can you help me out with this? I, you know, I'm at a loss for content for a day. Can you talk to my students about something? Something, yeah, of course. And I was looking through uh, through all the listings earlier, and you basically have sort of like every topic covered almost. I mean, there's something for basically every sort of general trade out there uh, in our field. Um, you know, for a, for a, like you said, a day's worth of education. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like uh, when I first started, I you know, it was really geared towards tech theater because that's you know I, I was I was. I wasn't thinking big enough, apparently, uh, but pretty soon people are like, hey, do you care if I put my director stuff on there? Do you care if I put my arts admin stuff on there? I'm like, no, go ahead. You know, um, you know, technical directors should hear from those. Lighting designers should hear from the box office people. There's no reason that everybody couldn't get involved. So uh, if I were to do it over, I would make it a, a my, I would cast my net wider uh, <laughs> to try to get uh, more people uh, and more disciplines reflected in the, in the uh, register. Of course, and I think uh, now during this time when people might have a little bit more time on their hands as uh, you know as they normally would, it's great for people, um, like you said, for a lighting designer to, to take a directing course or to have some little cross utilization uh, in those interdisciplinary units so that you can really um, know what your peers and, and you know, it, it, all, it all comes into one to, to create a show. So it's really good to have a well-rounded knowledge of a little bit of everything in the industry. Cool. Uh, perfect. Um, now, Harrison, I know you came in on the, the sort of the IT end of things. Do you, um, do you, are you able to see like the, the amount of users that the site's getting or, or the number of clicks and everything that people are using on it? Yeah, right now we average between 20 to 30 views a day. Um, and the first week that we started having the site live, we had between 60 and 100, just depending on the day. Um, the weekends obviously are lower, but um, that's pretty much where we're falling. That's amazing. And this is, tell me how, tell everybody how, a little bit how it works. Um, so you've posted their information and people can just click in and contact the uh, speaker uh, or lecturer directly, correct? Yeah, that's the yeah. idea is, uh, okay, go ahead, Harrison. Yeah, so it started with the Google form that Brian created and then he was looking for ways to search through it so that he could find who, so people could find who they're looking for faster. And so um, basically on the website, there's a search bar at the top, which allows you to filter for what you're looking for. So if you wanted to search for a specific name, you can, um, but also if you just wanted something, just stage management, you could just search it and it would pull everybody on the list that has anything about stage management listed. Awesome. That's amazing. Uh, would you guys mind showing us a little bit about the site? Sure. Go ahead, Harrison. Yep. Uh, yeah, and that was one of the cool, you know, we started off, I started off with the Google form uh, and then I shared the Google form. There's a couple of uh, hiccups I had. Um, uh, the first one was when we shared the Google form, the first time everybody could, uh, even if I locked it down and made it searchable, everybody could be searching on top of each other. So that as soon as, if I were to type in technical direction and Harrison were to type in sound designer, uh, he would overwrite my search. So it was very uh, not user friendly. Uh, so then I just published it. And for a while there, the only way you could search it was using the find feature on your web browser. So that's the real reason uh, I brought Harrison and his skills in uh, to make it a much more user friendly interface. Perfect. And um, for those of you watching, uh, we'll make sure to get all of the links and everything for this posted uh, so that you guys can sort of dive into it and see uh, what all uh, offerings are available for you. That's amazing. Um, Brian, how has this, uh, how has this time sort of changed the way that educators are educating? Uh, obviously, every, I feel like everybody had the, um, they had that one like spring break week, I think, for everybody to sort of like flip your brains around and, and figure out uh, what this new education um, platform looked like. But how has it been for you? Uh, for me personally, I was uh, pretty fortunate. Uh, this semester, most of my course load was involved with production. Uh, so that unfortunately uh, kind of is just Felt the way said, yeah. Uh, but my other course uh, was an AutoCAD course. So that actually translated pretty well. 
um, to the online learning environment. Uh, it was, like Zoom's a pretty, was very effective for me for that. Um, uh, but we also worked with, uh, so I was able to work with like our dance faculty and we had to actually have set up a little uh, TV studio with some equipment we had on hand so that they could uh, uh, stream live and have a couple of different shots. And I worked with our, our production manager, lighting designer, Kathy DeVault to make it so that she could shoot some video of like hanging and focusing a light and things like that. Uh, so, you know, just trying to, uh, for, so for me, like I said, it was a fairly simple shift to the virtual realm uh, and then trying to utilize any spare time I had to help facilitate it uh, for others in our department. Harrison, do you want to walk through kind of the features of the website? Yeah. So um, when you first uh, go in here, there's the, the main functionality is the search bar. So in here, you can type whatever you're looking for. So if we search for stage management, um, this is going to pull up anything on the list that somebody has listed for stage management. Um, you can do that with any of the words that are actually on the site. So if you wanted to find Brian specifically, you could just search for his name and it will filter out everybody but him. Um, and if you wanted just to learn a little bit more there, you can click on all of their bios and resumes that are included or a quick contact information here with their email. Um, so then the other main functionality is that we, a lot of people were asking to make it uh, filterable. So they wanted to be able to sort it in alphabetical order. So here, if you just click on any of the headers, um, it'll take a second because it's trying to do 300 right now, um, but it will sort them in alphabetical order. And it can continue to do that for any of the things that you search for. So we could go in here and they're still sorted by their name currently, but you also could sort by affiliation and that's just whatever works best for you. <laughs> Then we want to make sure that people had an easy way to get added to the added to the form so they can be included in here. So right up here, if you hit um, join the list, that will allow you to be added. And within the next within a day, you'll be added onto the list so that more people can find you. Amazing. And then that's uh, just updated. You said it's updated throughout the day as well, correct? Yep, it gets updated once every day. Yeah, awesome. my understanding is Harrison wrote a script that will then go through, search the database for new entries, then upload it and uh, make the uh, website uh, current. So like it's about a 24 hour period. Yeah. And this is, uh, there's no website, or there, so there's no password protection or anything. There's no subscription that people need to be invested into for to get access to this. It's just a free open source it's website. It's just a free right? open source website. Um, yep. You know, the idea was to make it, um, as accessible as we can for people that needed it. Uh, there was a lot of uh, talk on there, uh, on there, meaning the social media about whether uh, we should, uh, you should be compensating the people. How do we, you know, cause there's a lot of people that aren't uh, uh, being able to get a paycheck right now. So right. the idea uh, with this was that it was people that were willing to offer their time. Uh, if you have a, if you happen to be in a position where you can, you know, offer some sort of compensation to your guests, that's great. Uh, but it was not expected. Uh, that was not the intent of this forum, right? It, the idea was to to help others uh, if, as you are. Of course, um, Harrison. Uh, since you have it up right there, would you mind just copying and pasting the link into the into the web? Yeah. The chat? Here we had a couple people asking for it. Um, and again, we will make sure that uh, this all gets uploaded on our website as well as our social channels uh, today as soon as we wrap the webinar as well. Uh, yeah, um, and uh, the other thing I would like to point out is you can feel free to click on Harrison's link right there. That'll take you to his website uh, in his portfolio. So, uh, you know, we always got to do a little, uh, a little we got to always uh, promote our students. Uh, but Harrison also uh, volunteered the, it's tied onto his website. That was how we were able to get it uh, up online. So he actually, uh, use oh, his website to host uh, this database for us. That's amazing. Uh, and Matthew uh, asked on Zoom, he just asked, will this information be available to theater pr practitioners in the, in the Caribbean region as well? And I would, I mean, this is open to anywhere, no matter where you're, where you're located. Yeah, there should, there, there, uh, um, I have no way of uh, prohibiting anybody from accessing it. So uh, yeah, uh, you know, feel free to reach out. I mean, uh, I always say the worst thing that could happen is somebody can say no, right? Uh, of uh, course. But, but everybody here already volunteered to put their name on the list. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to contact them, work out something out and uh, be able to yeah. have some uh, meaningful learning experiences. 
We also oh, cool. currently have a fair amount of users in England right now. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And I mean, this this gets you, yeah, I would imagine as an educator, uh, as, a, as a practitioner, you try to obviously find the best of the best to bring to your classes anyway. So it's a really cool thing, uh, a learning lesson from this whole entire pandemic uh, that we can connect virtually over, no matter where you are located, uh, we can connect virtually and, and sort of bring the best to the audience that we're trying to engage with. So I think it's a really yeah, cool I mean, lesson was, there. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I've gone through the list a couple of times just to see who's on it. And I'm like, Ooh, I want to take a class from them. Oh, I want to say that sounds pretty cool. Oh, oh, I never thought of that, you know, so um, I think there's a lot of really cool opportunities. Uh, and I think it's really awesome that all the people that uh, are volunteering and willing to volunteer their time to talk to the students. So uh, that's a, really a big shout out to them. And I think it's uh, super important. I, I know uh, we as, as a team have been talking about this and I've had a lot of colleagues that have talked about this as well. No matter what you do or what your normal uh, normal job may, may have been uh, prior to this, um, just even you know for, for these educators and, and uh, professors that are now learning to teach from home, teach on Zoom, dealing with you know some people have kids and families that they're also homeschooling now or or whatever the case might be. It's a great resource um, to be able. Some days you just might not be able to make it to the classroom, uh, you know, and and this is a great way to sort of have a sub fill in for you or like I said, just bring. A different aspect or, or a different influence uh, from the industry to to your students and to your audience as well. This is amazing, and this is also something that uh, hopefully uh, we'll see this continue uh, post uh, COVID nineteen, right? Yeah, that's my goal. I, I hadn't really ever I hadn't thought about that. Uh, I guess at some point we'll I'll have to have a conversation with Harrison about uh, how long <laughs> he wants to host it for me, uh, and then I'll reach out to the the. We'll probably uh, reach out to the people that have signed up and said, "Hey, are you willing to continue this?" Uh, of course. And are you, do you want to stay on the list? Again, uh, you can see on the thing, we've got a spot where you can give us some feedback, or you can also, if you don't want to be on the list for whatever reason, uh, you can click that and it will send us a link and we'll take you off of it. But yeah, that's the, uh, uh, currently my hope is that we will be able to keep it up and running uh, in the future as a resource for people to, you know, uh, get a guest lecture. Perfect. And Harrison, uh, I know this is not like the topic of this uh, webinar today, but just because we discussed it earlier, um, can you tell everybody what you're studying at Ohio Northern and, and sort of how that uh, correlates and it may have helped you in this process of developing this database? Yeah, so at Ohio Northern, I'm studying computer science and international theater production, which is our theater design major. Um, and so throughout my study, I get to learn a lot about creating softwares and how people create tools to help others and just being heavily involved with the theater department at ONU, it allows me to really quickly add, create software for to an industry that often uh, people in computer science aren't creating tools for. Um, and so just because I have a lot of experience in creating tools like this, you know, for websites and applications and things, Brian was able just to come to me really quickly and be like, hey, I think that there's some use for this. And I was able to make it pretty quick. Perfect. That's amazing. No, it's a, it's a great tool. And I think, uh, I mean, you guys are already using it. Uh, you're already seeing a lot of traffic through it. And I hope that we can, uh, we can help get some more traffic through, uh, through the database and help some people out as well uh, through this channel. So thank you so much for uh, joining us today. I'm just trying to see if we have any other questions. Um, and do you guys have anything else to add? Uh, no, I just thank you for uh, asking us. This was kind of fun to talk about it. Um, yeah, uh, and I also, again, I just want to thank Harrison for the work he put into it. Um, uh, we, uh, yeah, it's a much better and much more serviceable uh, due to his work and the fact that as soon as I said, hey, do you think we can do this? He was like, yes, we can do that. Let's make it happen. So uh, kudos to him. So thank you, Harrison. Yeah, it's been fun to work on. Perfect. Uh, so I just reposted the um, link uh, in the chat for everyone that's watching uh, online. And again, we'll get that posted on the USIDT resources page as well as all of our social channels uh, just following this webinar today. So be sure to check it out um, whenever you have a moment. And like, and uh, as Brian said, there's some there's a room on the website for feedback as well. So uh, if, it, if there's something that you uh, want to leave some feedback on, please do so. I'm sure the guys would really appreciate that. Um, if there's nothing else to add, I think we can wrap this up today. We'll get this posted uh, on our website as well, um, just as soon as we get it edited together. 
uh, one moment. There we go. And uh, thank you, Brian and Harrison, again, uh, for, for showing us this. Uh, just so everyone knows as well, for those of you that uh, read our uh, TDNT publication, there will be a little feature on uh, this and a bunch of other industry uh, topics that are that are coming up and out of COVID-19 pandemic. So be sure to check out the spring edition of TDNT. It'll be coming out uh, in mid-May. Uh, we just had one other question come through. One second. Oh, Denise, just email me, Cody at usigt.org. That'll get that uh, question answered for you. So just email me. He had a question about being a presenter on one of the webinars. So uh, that, another thing, if, if you have a webinar that you would like to present uh, or, or a, a topic that you think people would find really interesting, feel free to email me, Cody at usigt.org. We're always um, looking for new content to feature. So thank you so much again. And we hope that you enjoyed this session today. And we look forward to welcoming you to another one of our online education and training sessions in the near future. Coming up this afternoon on Forum at 4, that's at 4 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be presenting a decade of paint samples, a virtual exhibition, exhibition of scenery and paint samples from the Alley Theater Scene Shop. Uh, this, again, was going to be one of those uh, special exhibits that we had featured in Houston uh, from the Alley Theater there in Houston, but of course, was not able, we're not able to. So join us today at 4 o'clock. That's here on Zoom, uh, usitt.org. And then tomorrow back here at New, on, New at Noon, we'll be introducing another new technology that has come out of the COVID-19 pandemic. This one's called Opera Map. It's a virtual world where designers, producers, and presenters can collaborate in real time using a uniform database of virtual assets. So join us uh, back here again tomorrow at noon for that. If you haven't already registered for that, uh, for these sessions, um, please, again, check us out at usitt.org. And also give us a like on all of our social channels as well. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all of those just to stay up to date on all the latest news that we have to give you. Also, we'd like to take our, this opportunity to thank our friends at the American Society of Theater Consultants uh, for their generous support in making these webinars and broadcasts possible. We really thank our friends at ASTC. And uh, just a reminder, at the, at the completion of this um, webinar, as soon as I end the meeting, you will be prompted to answer a short survey. Uh, this is just to make sure that we're presenting the right content for you and the content that you need during this time. So if you have a moment, please fill out that questionnaire. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today at New at Noon. Uh, on behalf of all of us at USMTT, we hope you have a great afternoon, a great week, and we'll see you right back here same time tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.